Oh, hi there. Gigit here and today we are playing Railroad Online. Particularly, I'm gonna show you my first track that I lay in this game. So, without any wasting any time, let's, um, let's start with this true. Let's go inside the cabin and go in this view. I mean, this view. Remove full recreator and wait, 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 wait. Why I'm going to reverse? Okay, full reverse is hundred percent off. And let's go. This is my first try that I lay on this game, and it took me one hour because I didn't know how I can lay a track and what the setting I need to do and what kind of setting I need. To, I mean, what? How can I lay a perfectly straight track? You can, you can see that. I already, already lay a track for the unloading depot over there to and connect it to the main line that is this I try to make this track track as straight as possible but in some area is in the some area is some kink in this track on some turn here but except for that except for those it's perfectly, I mean, perfectly straight track we can easily go full rack using our best. So, why did I try? I mean, why did I decide to play this game? That simple answer is I love about I love trains. And when I first heard that it's gonna be a game about this, I was so excited to play this game. But I didn't have any hard way to play that. Game. I recently acquired a system. With the monitor and the CPU in it, then I bought a graphic card because I try to play this game on an APU, particularly APU uh, which APU I always try to play on. Yeah, Ryzen 3 3200G with 8 GB of RAM, and you can imagine how is it went. It didn't run. It didn't run, not at all. It was stretching a lot and lagging, lagging like crazy. So then I decided to buy a graphic card. So I bought myself a Ryzen, or uh, not Ryzen, a uh, uh, GTX 1050 Ti. I know it's quite an old GPU. It's almost six years old now. But I got a best deal. I got a best deal on that graphic card. I bought that graphic card for five thousand five hundred rupees. I know you don't believe how how little I got uh, how little I need to pay for that graphic card and it's running perfectly fine you can see some area we are having some lags but except for those it's running perfectly fine because um I because I'm using 8 gig of system memory maybe because of that I'm gonna I'm, I'm soon going to upgrade that to 16 gig so yeah and yeah this is the curve this is 40 degree of curve, 40 meter radius of curve this is first I thought I should go to the unloading area but it was getting so hard to turn that track and so I decided to first go up here then we are making an S band turn where we can uh, from here we are going straight to logging camp this is our Sony you can see I layer track but not complete all the routes here we are going straight to the logging camp i'm using bridge over here because the decline is so high i mean so low so i have to use this bridge i can use the groundwork but groundwork gra I mean, groundwork look weird in this place so i decided to use bridges i didn't i mean i didn't pop i mean what I'm trying to say is I didn't complete this track to the logging camp. You can see the trees are on the platform. I didn't clear the trees. So that's it. This is the far end. we can go now because I need to clear that. Because it took me one hour, more than one hour. Because half the time I need to search in on Google how I can remove these, how I can lay a perfectly straight track all those things and stop yeah this tree is on in inside the platform inside the track so i need to clear that yeah you can see that we are having some glitches and let's go back let's remove don't reset so 
on that note this is the end of this video if you like this type of videos i'm gonna make material video about railroad online because i like i love this game so on that note bye